Hey everyone, Anna here, and today we are going to be talking about the Anglican prayer practice of praying the daily office. The daily office? What is that? Well, I'm glad you asked. The daily office is a practice within Anglicanism of praying multiple times throughout the day, and it stems from the tradition of praying the hours. And this tradition of praying the hours comes from a monastic community in which the brothers would wake up wicked early in the morning, pray before sunup, pray after the sun rose, throughout the day, at the end of the day, and before going to bed. The Roman Catholic Church adopted this practice, and so too did Anglicanism. And in Anglicanism, it became what we know as the daily office, which is comprised of morning prayer, noonday prayer, evening prayer, and Compline. But what do I need to pray the daily office? Well, it's simple. All you need are two things. The first is your liturgy or Book of Common Prayer of choice. And for us today, we will be using the Book of Common Prayer 1979, most commonly used in the Episcopal Church of the United States. And the BCP 1979 can be found in two places. It can be found in hard copy, or it can be found online at bcponline.org. And we're using the BCP 1979 from the Episcopal Church because it is the tradition from which I come and the tradition with which I am most familiar. But please note that the daily office takes a slightly different flavor depending on your flavor of Anglicanism. So pick your liturgy of choice. And the second thing you need is a prayerful heart. And like I mentioned, we're using BCP 1979 for our foundation of how to pray the office. But my hope is that this video will equip us with the skills that we can use to pray the daily office, no matter in which type of Anglican church we find ourselves, and no matter which prayer from the daily office we're using. Specifically for us today, we are going to be using morning prayer, right two from the BCP 1979. So if you're ready, let's dive right in with morning prayer, right two from start to finish. One of the things that you'll notice about the daily office is that it begins rather quickly towards the front of the Book of Common Prayer. And while this might be for a number of reasons, one reason is that prayer is at the heart of Anglicanism. It is what we are called to do day in and day out, and we can do it through the daily office. So for us, with Morning Prayer Rite 2, we begin on page 75. And what you'll notice when you get to page 75 is that on pages 75 through 78, you have a number of scripture from which to choose. And these scripture are all used to open us in prayer. What's important about these scripture is that they correspond to the liturgical season in which you find yourself. So you'll flip to that season for us in April of 2020. We'll find ourselves in the Easter season on page 77. You'll read the sentence of scripture corresponding to the season and you'll open everybody in prayer. From there, you'll be cued to turn to page 79 with the confession of sin. And the confession of sin begins either with the paragraph or the sentence happening before the confession. The officiant will welcome everybody in for the confession, then the congregation will confess their sins together. Next comes the absolution. And the absolution, if done by a priest or a bishop, is recited just as is printed on the page using the word you. If it's done by a lay person or a deacon, you will use the word us for a collective absolution. Following the absolution of sin comes the invitatory and the Psalter, starting on page 80. This begins with the welcoming words of Lord open our lips, the congregation responds, and then everybody recites the Gloria Patri. And the Gloria Patri is a sentence that goes, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And this is an important sentence because it comes up time and time again throughout the other prayers of the daily office. And it's a sentence in which everybody participates, so it's one with which you'd like to familiarize yourselves. After the Gloria Patri comes the Antiphon, again another short sentence used in correspondence with the liturgical season in which you find yourself. So the officiant will pick an antiphon, and that then leads us in to what we'll find on pages 82 through 83 in the Venite, the Jubilate, 
and the Christ Hour Passover. A quick note on the Christ Hour Passover is that this is used namely only in Easter week or the Easter season, whereas the Venite and Jubilate can be used throughout the liturgical year. Everybody will recite the selected canticle together. The antiphon can then be recited again, or you can move right on in to the psalm. The psalm can either be recited in unison, antiphonally, meaning call and response, or read by one person. And next, on page 84, you'll notice that we are in the lessons. But a quick pause here. How do I know what psalm to use, and how do I know what lessons to use? The lectionary text for the daily office can be found starting on page 930 of your Book of Common Prayer. It can also be found on forwardmovement.org. So you can either go to page 930, find your liturgical season, the week in which you're praying and the day on which you're praying, and you'll find the text there, or type into forwardmovement.org, the date on which you're praying and the prayer you are praying, and the website will tell you your text for the day. This website or the Book of Common Prayer will give you your psalm, which is then found roughly around page 500 in your Book of Common Prayer, and your text, which then you can find in the Bible. And like the psalm, the text can be read by either the officiant or somebody in the congregation. After the lesson of the day comes the response. And the response comes in the form of what we call the canticles, found on pages 85 through 96 of the Book of Common Prayer. And these canticles are short songs read in response to the lesson. Typically, one can be found that corresponds to the lesson of the day. Alternatively, somebody could prepare a short homily in response to the lesson to unpack a certain point that came up in the text. And after the response, we have our opportunity to affirm our faith by reciting the Apostles' Creed, found on page 96. And after the creed, we find ourselves in the last section of morning prayer, in the section called the prayers. This begins with the Lord's Prayer, continues with the suffrages, a call and response form of prayer led by the officiant, responded to by the congregation. The officiant is the V, the congregation is the R. And it continues then with what we call the collects. And the collects are short prayers used to collect or gather the congregation. Now these can be found between pages 98 and 100 in the Book of Common Prayer, or they can be found around page 200. And if you go to page 200, you'll notice that there are collects for a specific Sunday, a feast day, a saint day, or a particular situation in which you might find yourself. These are called the collect of the day. The collect of the day is also found then on pages 98 through 100. And this is the first collect that you'll pray. So you'll select your collect of the day, and then you'll pray your collect for mission, found on pages 100 through 101. And after the collects, I tend to give people time and space to lift their own prayers, either prayed aloud or prayed silently. Then you have your final opportunity to gather everybody in unison with the words of the general thanksgiving or the prayer of St. Chrysostom found on pages 101 through 102. You don't need to pray both, you can, or you can pray one or the other. And finally, the dismissal, which begins with the officiant saying, let us bless the Lord, the congregation responding, thanks be to God, the officiant choosing a set of scripture to use to dismiss everybody, possibly a passing of the peace, and then everybody going on their way. And there you have it. That's morning prayer, right to from the Book of Common Prayer in 1979 used in the Episcopal Church of the United States. If you have any questions, concerns, or need help navigating the BCP, please let me know. May the peace of the Lord be always with you.